Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with the search product functionality. So in this one, you just are going to be able to impute a product title in a search bar and hit the search button and we're going to query all the products that we've got in our database and return a product based on whatever the user wants to see. So if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. And also if you want to get a template, check out the link in the description. They should point you to the right direction of getting the template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is open up my code editor and we're going to be writing a simple view that's going to help us do that. And uh, I'm just going to minimize this and make sure your server is still running. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, my server is still running over there. OK, that's it. So in order to go ahead and get started, I'm going to come over to the views.py. And remember from the last one, we worked with Ajax add reviews. And that was pretty awesome. So in this one, I'm going to define a search view. You could call this search view. It's totally up to you, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to get rid of all this. I'm just going to say view. OK, now in here, we're going to pass in a request. OK, so as you all know, that's a parameter. Now, the next thing we want to get is query. So I'm going to say query should be equal to then for this one i'm gonna say request dot get then i'm simply gonna get what's q that's what we're gonna call it so hopefully you guys know that if you don't want to do request get like this you go to the something like request dot get dot get then you're gonna pass in the name of whatever input feed you want to get either way anyone is gonna work okay just like what we've been doing over here from the last video for the ad reviews and all that if you don't want to do this you can also go dot get then change the square brackets to parentheses and everything is gonna work okay so when you've done this now we need to go ahead and fill out a product so I'm gonna say products should be equal to products dot objects dot filter so we want to filter the, the the product by title so i'm going to say title underscore underscore i contains so now take note there's a lot of things you could you could filter by description you could filter by um you could filter by title you could filter by tag it's just totally up to you what you want to filter by now i'm going to filter by title so title as i said is pretty much the the title field that we've got over there now our, our i contains is is um a built-in django method i'm going to say that you use whenever you want to get any Thing that's related in a word that you're trying to search so let me explain let's say we've got um we've got a product called fresh pair which we do of course now if a user want if a user come over here and search for pair now it's also going to bring out this fresh pair product for them why because there's a there's pair in the title okay in the title of the product fresh pair now even if a user type something like ash like this it's going to still bring out the fresh pair because there is ash in fresh over here okay so hopefully you understand now there is another one that is start sweet so there is starts with so this one if you pass in ash the fresh pair isn't going to come up because it doesn't start with ash except if you pass in fresh that's only when it's going to come out even if you pass in pair it's not going to come out okay so hopefully you understand well i want to stick with icon things that one is way more better right because you don't want a user to actually know what a product title starts with before they can find it so i'm going to say this should be equal to query and you could also even go with description so i could say there's creep description underscore underscore i contains should be equal to query also uh oh what's that this should be equal to query okay so now if for any reason there is any problem what we could just do is go ahead and get rid of the of the description and stick with the title only so i'm gonna say filter by minus date okay sorry other by that's what i was supposed to say so it's gonna go ahead and order the products by the latest one that was added in the in the database so i'm gonna say context should be equal to this is gonna be a context dictionary and i simply want to pass in products i'm gonna say products and over here i'm simply gonna pass in products not the product detail view and alongside the products i'm also gonna pass in query just like this because i want to know what is it that the user is searching for now when all this is done i think that's pretty much it let's just go ahead and return the template and we are done so i want to copy one of this or i'm going to bury it or steal it whatever then i'm going to paste it down here and instead of the product detail.html i'm going to call this template search.html then we'll pass in context which was what we created over here simple as that so now let's open up the urls core so um i'm just going to create i'm just going to pass search in here then i'm going to say parts then i'm going to say search over here and there's going to be a slash and that's pretty much what i want then i'm going to pass in the the search view i think that's what we call the right this is it over here search view 
so it should go ahead and import that for us i think let's look for where it's imported it ajax category um uh, vendor list vendor search you yeah it's imported it for us okay now finally i'm also going to go ahead and pass in search as the name so when all this is done that's pretty much what i want to do i'm just going to copy the search over here and i want to open up base html and i'm going to look for the search i search impute thing i'm just going to look for search and um let's keep going okay this is it over here search now what i want to do is make sure that my server is still running and i want to open up the the website over here so i can see where my search thing is and this is it over here right so firstly i want to add a button and that button is gonna is gonna be is gonna have a search icon so i'm gonna say class fas fa dash search and let's refresh and see what we got over here okay as you can see we got this over here that's pretty cool right now I think that's pretty much what I want to do. I'm just going to put in the type of submit over here for the button. And now for search an item, I'm going to give it a name of Q. So this name of Q is pretty much what we grabbed in the, from the server over here, Q. Okay. So now that's pretty much what we want to do. Apart from the fact that we want to look for the form and want to give this a method of get. So I'm going to say method and I'm going to pass in get. And also for the action, I'm going to pass in the search URL thing that we just created. I'm going to say call slash or pipe or column rather that's a column search so when all this is done i'm just going to refresh this and as you can see it's it's refreshed now i want to search for banana now it says actually something is getting back but it says this template doesn't exist search html so um i'm going to create a template with the name search html i'm just going to come over here and open this up and in the core i'm going to create a new file and this one is going to be search html now when we refresh this should be gone now what I want to copy is the product list. Actually, that's what I'm going to just grab. Um, let's get down here. I'm going to grab this and put it in the search HTML. And when I refresh this now, you're going to see that we should have a banana product. Okay. That's not showing up. I think, I think we didn't pass in something correctly in the views, um, products, products. And, um, let's see in the, in the search HTML, I'm going to search for for p in products that's what it's supposed to be but well, maybe the problem was from the the banana keyword so I, i'm gonna search for b a n a okay guys what do you notice now we get a banana right how about we search for something like a pair what do you notice okay there there is no pair over there let's see let's see what's the problem okay i'm gonna search for fresh let's see okay we didn't get anything like that Okay, that's actually a problem. Now let's see what the problem might be. Fresh, what if you search for bananas? You didn't get any, okay, I'm gonna search for. <clears throat> so I actually got one banana. Um, pear, it's got no pear. So let's see what the problem is. I'm gonna come over to my products and this is fresh pear, right? Now the problem is the problem would be from the from the views. Maybe there is a problem with something. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of that and now come over here. Let's refresh one more time and let's see. Okay, now what do you notice? There's a pair. But I want to change up this template. That's not the one I want to use. The one I want to use is the category list. Um, this is not the one I want to use also. What I want to use is the, um, let me see. I think it's the category product list. That's what I want to use, right? So I'm, I'm just going to copy this category product list and I'm going to locate the search HTML. I'm just going to paste that in there. Let's refresh this. Okay. This is what, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. And, uh, I could actually make this bigger. Now I'll go ahead and put in whatever the search query is. So whatever is it that the user is searching for, I want to put it in here. Okay, so how do we do that? I'm just going to scroll all the way to the top and um, okay, we found one item for you. That's actually counting correctly. Now I'm just going to pass in query over here. So query is whatever the user is searching for. Okay, so query and just down here to I'm going to pass in query. Okay, so we refresh this. Now we get pair. So how about a user isn't searching for anything? Then you're going to see this is going to be empty and we don't want that so we want to check if the query is empty then we if the like if there is nothing in the query we just want to go ahead and, and, and 
and put in something like no searched item something like that okay so i'm gonna say if query if query then we'll pass in this else then we want to go ahead and pass in something else i'm just gonna say and if and if and this is what i want to copy I'm, I'm just gonna come over here and paste it but this time around i'm gonna say um i'm gonna say no search query okay no searched item or something like that i'm gonna refresh this okay as you can see it says no searched item so that's pretty cool right I'm, i also want to change this to um h h3 rather that should be better so h3 and also i think that should be it for now so no searched item that's pretty cool but now it displays all since there is no search item it's going to go ahead and display all the items that we've got okay so I, I guess that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. And also if you want to get this cool template that we're using, do make sure to check out the link in the description below. It should point you to the right direction to get the template. And until the next video, I'd love, peace out.